How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase of this 2020 Ford F-250 EMS Command Response Vehicle. How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come take a walk around with this 2020 Ford F-250 EMS Command Vehicle that we built. We're gonna go over all the different features and different options that we put into this vehicle to tailor that vehicle around their specific needs. If you like this video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, keep up to date with all of our latest builds. So as we said, the platform is based off of a Ford F-250. Uh, the vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint electrical system. Uh, in the front windshield, we have a interior enforced light bar in dual color that has the white override. We have a dual Enforced windshield light that we mounted to the front lower windshield, also in dual color. We have the Centina PB450L. It features two M powers to the front, two M powers to the side. They have the white override feature for front takedown, left alley, right alley. We've got a headlight flasher installed. The headlight flasher is currently on Park Hill. And then we also have our siren speakers mounted behind the grill. And then we also have the low frequency aftershock from sound off. So taking a look at the side of the vehicle, four inch M powers along the side are all of our lights. The front fender is dual color red white. Our running board lights are tricolor red, blue, and white. We got tricolor in the rear side window. We've got two mounted behind the cap glass. And then we have a dual color back on the rear quarter here. All the lights turn white to provide additional scene lighting uh, in low light le level situations. The running board lights also come on white when you open the door to help you light up the area to make sure that you're not getting out of an unsafe scene. Okay, so taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we've got an eight head N4 stick mounted behind the glass. We've got four inch M powers on the bumper and the rear tailgate. We have sound off signal hideaways mounted in the tail lights and the white lights on the back do the white override to provide additional scene lighting. We installed this uh, ARE cap for them. We spec'd it out. We have electronic locks on the back that ties into the, the factory key fob. And then with the tailgate down, you can see that we still have our rear warning. So one thing that we've done with this is we installed a pin switch. This turns on our scene lighting. Um, they've chosen to have a red, white Amdor light. We have lights mounted throughout the cabinet and they have the option to either be white or red with just the flip of the switch. And then that switch also lets them shut that off if they were not to light them on. Uh, we also installed a kill switch to kill the rear stick so that if it's blinding them when they're working back here. And as you can see, all of our switches have been engraved to notify the function of that switch. So as we usually talk about some of our electronics mounting areas, um, in our pickup trucks, what we've been doing is we've been mounting this uh, drop down panel so that you can drop it down and service it. We keep our nodes, uh, fuse panel stuff here all very easily accessible uh, on this hinged panel so it'll drop down and you can do whatever you need to. Just one little touch that we like to do to help uh, serviceability in the future. So we've got a 72 inch slide out cabinet. Up front we have a lockable parts drawer. Below that we have a, another larger parts drawer. We've got our radio faceplate with our radios, our speaker recess cut, some switches, some 12 volt USB. In the compartments, we've installed Amdor dual color red white lights so that they have the ability to change in between the two colors or turn them off. And then down below, we have a custom ratcheting magnetic command board. So this is a full width, full depth command board that gives them plenty of writing surface. And then they just lift up to ratchet down to close and then they close utilizing the Accuride 9308 lock-in lock-out slide. The passenger side, we have a adjustable shelf area with some cargo netting over it. Helps keep any of the equipment inside. And then you can see we added more Amdor dual color lights to it. On the passenger side, we've got a smaller adjustable shelf with some cargo netting over it. And then we've got a large open storage area for them to be able to store uh, taller equipment in. So what we did with the interior is we removed the factory center console. We installed one of our custom center consoles with our leather padded armrest. Uh, we installed their speaker flush mounted to the side. Uh, we've got the factory Ford OEM plug reintegrated. We've got our blueprint controller with our functions, our radio. We have one of our 
three inch custom made pockets and our custom cup holders with our pen holders. Uh, what we did with the vehicle is we brought in all the upfitter switches to give them additional functionality if they were to need it down in the future. Um, we did add an ignition override after the fact, so we decided to move their dimming capability of the blueprint system up to that upfitter switch. Okay, so now we've got the vehicle in our drive response mode. Uh, you can see we've had our, added our headlight flasher. We have our interior light bar flashing in a more aggressive pattern. We've changed the pattern on the lights to speed it up a little bit, make it a little bit more eye-catching when they're responding to a scene. Thanks for checking out our video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up, uh, comment. We love to answer any questions you have. Please feel free to call us or shoot us an email.